guys, Navjot here. Welcome to EG Technology. In the last video, we saw how to connect Arduino with an LED light. In today's video, we are back with the Arduino board. And today we are talking about PIR sensor. It's the sensor which detects motion and on the basis of this, gives some output. So today what we are going to do is connect Arduino board with the PIR sensor, which will detect a motion and on the basis of that, it will trigger an LED which we saw in the last video also. This has wide variety of applications wherein you can use this in IoT field. Arduino being a controller is easy to install and can be used to sense different sets of uh, data. So as I said, uh, this kind of connections wherein we are connecting PIR can be detected, uh, used for the motion sensors, movement, which can be used in home automation or even in the industrial applications. So now let us see what this Arduino and PI sensor connection looks like. As we discussed, today we are working with Arduino Uno board. In order to connect the circuit which we are talking about and the PIR sensor, we would need an Arduino board. Cables, these are male to female connectors which you can get. I always suggest to keep the color code going because it will help you understand how the connections are done. One small LED which will be in order to detect the motion generated by PIR sensor. This, as you can see, is the PIR sensor. Here, you get the connection options. So as I said, you will be connecting the male to female connections using uh, these chips which you can see in here. So therein one is for the power supply, one is for the ground, and one will be inserting in the Arduino in order to get the signals. And as usual, you need one data cable for the Arduino. So now let us see how we connect those circuits. Okay, as you can see, this first pin is for ground. In case you are a newbie and a person who doesn't know much on the sensors, it's already mentioned in here. I always suggest to follow the color code. So I'm looking for the black, which is for ground. Then I've got another cable, which is for VCC. That's for the power supply. So I'm choosing the green and which I'll be connecting in the Arduino board on the power supply. And third one, which I have is for the sensing signals. So I'll connect the same here. Now this very three pins, we have to make sure that we connect properly because improper connections may lead to uh, disruption or maybe even the failure of the circuit. Now, as I said, uh, I'll be connecting the power supply on the board in five volt power supply. This my ground will be given to, okay, I, I need to change this, okay. This ground pin will be connected to ground. And as you can see, my sensing data, I'll connect into the port number two, which is here. So this sets up my connection. Now my LED, I'll be connecting on the 13th and also providing the ground. So this completes my connection. Once I connect my data cable, I can connect this circuit with the system and also with the help of the program, we can get the sensing done. So now let us see the program and also the further connections. As you saw the connections in the Arduino board, we are connecting the pin number two for the sensor and also we have connected pin number 13 for the LED to blink on the basis of the motion detection. Also, as you can see in the program, we also have to mention calibration time, which you can see here at the top. Calibration time is amount of time sensor takes in order to connect and sense data. It's always advisable to keep some calibration time in the range of 10 to 60 seconds, as you can see in the documentation. Also in the program, you have to be very precise when naming the pin number for the PIR sensor as well as the LED. In here, if you can see the program in detail, we are trying to run the program in a way where every motion which is senses, it has some uh, trigger generated on the LED. We also have to program delay for the amount of time the LED keeps on and after amount of time, the LED goes off. So this is the procedure guys. And as you saw in the connections also, this is how we connect. 
This program is available in the comment section also on our website ED Technology or you can take up any program which is available through the net. As you can see I am right now using the web editor. You can use the local installation of the Arduino software. You can run the program and once this program is run the motion is sensed and this is how it will look like. As we saw in the program, now the connections are done. As soon as I bring in the object or have a movement, the LED turns on and off. This purely will depend on the delay you set based on the sensing of the motion. As you can see, like right now my hands are moving. So it detects some motions and then turns on and off. You can uh, set the delay as per your requirement. And this is how the basic circuit will work. Thank you for watching video. Please do subscribe our channel, ED Technology. Share, comment, like. Have a good day.